In these uncertain times, we're committed to sharing solutions, resources, and information to help. Many of you have been feeling frustrated with work, home, or, or both. Our series, The Rebound Central Coast, aims to help you manage that pressure. And today, KSBY News reporter Tiffany Haas takes a look at how local bike shops are helping community members pedal their stress away. Bike kitchen assistant Charlie Gibbons switching parts and repairing bikes for their community customers. Cycling seems to be the main alternative for uh, active lifestyle when gyms are closed, basically. Uh, COVID hit and all of a sudden people were restricted to where they can pursue uh, staying healthy outdoors. Azul says since the pandemic started, interest has been high for cycling. It's been a little bit tricky trying to keep up to pace with the demand for bikes because it is very, very popular. We get everything donated here. And so the nature of our donations are all across the board as far as size, quality, era they were made. So that translates into a lot more options for people. And these are some of their refurbished bikes. They typically range in price from $100 to $300. Danny Martinez, owner of the Village Bike Shop in Arroyo Grande, also says he has been experiencing high demand for bike service and sales. Um, we find ourselves logging into computers super early in the morning and just seeing what our suppliers have and just kind of getting what you can, you know, um, because people, I mean, the demand's still there, so we're just trying to supply and, and get people back on the road. According to a survey released by Trek Bicycles and research firm Engine Insights, nearly two thirds of Americans feel bike riding helps relieve stress or anxiety during the COVID-19 pandemic. This is like a great way to spend time together and like have some fun. We have baskets for our bikes, so it's just a great way to stay healthy. In San Luis Obispo, Tiffany Haas, KSBY News. According to market research firm NPD Group, the U.S. cycling industry overall saw sales reach $1 billion in April, up 75% year over year.